During her lifetime, Ma Winnie did not have a chance to integrate into everyday life. She did not only experience the brunt of oppression, but also witnessed and shared the pain of other women and men. She was really a unifier and a mother that at the end of it all, it's about nurture, it's about care, and it's about humility. So that is what I, what I think when I hear Nomzamo, mother comes to mind. When I think of Mamwini, and more especially after my term um, in office as SRC chairperson, I think of how difficult it was to exist in so many male-dominated spaces. And I'm most thankful for the few spaces on campus where I could find solitude and also find acceptance among other women. As university students and academics, we have access to resources, platforms for debate, and opportunities to educate ourselves about our country and our world. I'm reminded of um, the, the time that I decided to actually join the movement, be part of FISMAS 4. Um, my motives behind joining FISMAS 4 and um, the struggles we went through and what Mamwini stood for and how that actually fueled our, our, our motives to be actually um, um, vocal within the movement. There are no perfect saints and no perfect sinners in South Africa. Mamwini will forever remain a symbol of the disproportionate burdens that activist women, and must I say, activist black women, have to endure. We recognize her immense and unforgettable contribution to South Africa. And it is in this spirit that we extend our heartfelt, sincere condolences to her daughters and family. After all, Mawini was not only a mother of the nation, but also Zinzi and Zanani's mother. Rest in peace, Mawini. Perhaps you will be more understood in death than in life.